we've all been in a restaurant and have had to fight for the attention of a waiter. Mm -hmm. Imagine being at your table and having it be as simple as pressing the surface and bringing up a list of beverages that are available. You can browse through them just by using your hand and dragging the images. And when you found something that you want, you just drag it into the order queue and place it there. And perhaps uh, I want uh, another item. And at that point, if a friend of ours joins us who's been here before, they could place a loyalty card down onto the surface. And it would bring up the items that they have ordered in the past, perhaps their favorites. Again, they can browse through, uh, select an item that they might want to uh, purchase to, to eat, and then perhaps uh, add a drink to the queue. And then we can simply place our order, and it's sent back to the kitchen. When our waiter brings our order out to the table, we could have a glass that's again tagged and placed down onto the surface. And that glass could bring up an image uh, that's corresponded with the tag. If, for instance, this were to be a glass of wine, it could bring up an image of the winery, mm -hmm. the winemaker, the vintages that are available from, from uh, that winery, perhaps pairings for the, the meal that we're having tonight. Mm -hmm. You can also have some fun with these images. You can see that we can uh, interact with the bubbles that are on the surface. It also represents an opportunity for advertising in the future if we choose to do that as well. And uh, maybe some games to keep the kids busy Absolutely. while you're waiting for the food? It makes uh, dining more entertaining and easy. Uh, when uh, we're ready to go, what we can do is we can place our payment methods down on the surface and instead of having to discuss with each other who, who bought that second piece of, uh, of pie or, or second coffee, uh, what you can do now is you can just simply drag an item into your payment method and you can split up the bill. And then we have a tip calculator that allows you to determine what level of tip you'd like to leave. Wow. We'll be very generous today. And then we just simply press pay and off we go. Wow. Very impressive. So let me show you another application which is associated with photos. Imagine if you had a loyalty card associated with any one of a number of online services that are available today. My photos are stored on a server. What I can do is, uh, when I'm on vacation, I can place my loyalty, loyalty card down on the surface. It recognizes me and brings my photos right up to the surface. What I can do at that point is I can click on a stack, and what I get is the best of both the digital and the virtual worlds. Mm -hmm. So I can take a photo as I would in real life and turn it around. I can, if I, you're interested in it, I can send it to you and you can manipulate it. Okay. We both can interact at once, again, demonstrating the multi-user aspects of surface computing. I can blow the photos up as large as I want. It's, it's and, cool. We, I mean, we can both be doing it at the same time. That's exactly right. It's a very collaborative social experience. It, it makes the... Uh, imagine yourself on vacation and having to crowd around a small... Uh, three by two screen on the back of your camera trying to show yeah. and share your photos. This is much a, such a, a much better experience because you can actually uh, collaboratively sit around and, and interact with the photos as, as if they were printed mm -hmm. and share them. You can also see that we have the ability not only to uh, manipulate photos but we can also do video. So if I just take this piece of video, press play and you can see that I can enlarge it, decrease the size, which is really an interesting application. Finally, what we can do is take a Wi-Fi camera, and I can just take a photo of you right now on the spot. There you go. And I can place this camera down on the surface, and out will spill uh, the photos. What I can do then is I can manipulate them, as we've done before. And we also have a function where I can turn this into a postcard, You'll see the variety of options that are available to me. I can turn the card over. I can write a quick message. And then I can simply press here, and I can send uh, the postcard through my online service to you. Wow. So what, again, what we're doing is we're blending the best of uh, the virtual world with the physical world, uh, making it a much more collaborative, enhanced, enriching experience. So inside of the uh, Surface computer, we have a Vista-based system that is combined with a set of cameras that are sensing differences in infrared light on the surface of this diffuser, and we also have a DLP projector which is projecting from uh, the inside up onto the surface. Mm -hmm. 
So those components uh, comprise a service computer. So here you can see an application for our partner Harris. Uh, imagine walking into one of their resorts and having just a tremendous amount of opportunity to go to restaurants and shows and, and uh, not really being fully aware of what's happening. What I can do is I can place my rewards program down on the surface and instantly it recognizes me and it provides me with a map of the resort. I can use my hands and I can actually resize the map and uh, take a look at what's available and what I can do then is I can browse through restaurants and this one looks like it's uh, interesting I can actually make a reservation. Uh, here's another restaurant that I could do the same. Uh, perhaps what I want to do is uh, go to a nightclub and buy VIP tickets or perhaps what I want to do is see what types of shows are available and and uh, here I have the opportunity to take a look at an Elton John trailer. So I can simply press play, and it provides me with a trailer Elton of the John concert. Red piano has lived it all. Here in and that sounds interesting, so what I'll do is I'll purchase those tickets. And then when I'm ready to go, what I can do is drag my choices right into my loyalty card, and the points are deducted. Excellent. So what this allows me to do is to really optimize my experience when I have such a wealth of things that I can do within a Harris environment and I can actually plan out my day and, and, uh, with, the, with the use of the service computer. So another application we have is related to music. Uh, one of our partners is Sheraton and we've all been in a situation where we've been in a restaurant or a bar and have heard music playing and have not really been able to identify what the song was and perhaps uh, if we did get it we forgot it when we got home. Mm -hmm. So what this allows us to do is at the comfort of our own table we could browse through music with the flick of a wrist and if we found a particular album that we were interested in what we could do is we could tap on it, uh, turn it over and find a song that we're interested in and we could actually drag it into the queue. At that point, if I wanted to see where I was located, I could look and see that I'm fifth in line for that song to be played, mm -hmm. which is really a nice enhancement uh, for being able to collaboratively interact with the music that's being played and have more control over it. In the future, what we'll be able to do is bring a zoom to the table, drop it down onto the surface, and it will be recognized uh, through any one of a variety of these, perhaps through Wi-Fi. And what we can then do is, if we like a particular album, we can drag that album directly into our Zoom and take it with us. If a friend of ours were to join us with another Zoom, they could place it down on the surface, and our playlist would be available. And we could browse through those, and if there's a particular song that I was interested in, I could then uh, bring that into my device and I could take it with me as well. So we believe that Zooms as they are today are a great sharing experience, but bringing them to the surface of uh, this device actually enriches it even more, makes it more collaborative, and provides another way for us to share music. Excellent. I love it. Another application we have is a video puzzle. And what we can do, as I've shown you before, is we can associate uh, each of these tiles using the tagging system that we've discussed. And I can place them down on the surface. And what I can do then is I can select to have any one of a number of images brought up to the surface and they can be associated with each of these tiles. I can either have it single-sided or double-sided. And when I press start, what you can see is that it, this becomes a video puzzle. And you can see that with these le this lettering here that it can be single-sided or double-sided. You get the reverse image. Yeah, so when you flip it over, it just reverses the, uh, the image in the tile. That's exactly right. So what this gives us an opportunity to do is to have a variety of images that are available in a library that people can choose from. And you can imagine that in a commercial setting or eventually in other settings that this will provide a lot of entertainment opportunity. Mixed up a uh, nice little Forza experience here. Wow. Here we have another ap application which is called uh, uh, Water. It's essentially in a track mode. As you would imagine in uh, a commercial setting, uh, people will be able to come to the device and actually be able to touch it and inter interact with it in a way that will allow them to understand how to work with this new technology. This could become educational or it could be just fun for people in a, in a lobby setting or in a, in a hotel setting. Wow. Well, thank you very much for uh, meeting with us.